This is the online service brought to you by the benefits of Rural East York. Thank you for logging in to join with us and to worship with us in this way. You are very warmly welcome, whether from near or far. Through scripture, words and music, we will be pondering the miracle of Jesus, calming the storm he was caught up in with his disciples as they sailed on the sea. We will especially be thinking about Jesus' words to his disciples. Where is your faith? So as we begin, let us pray. Loving God, as we battle the storms of life, as we feel tossed by the waves of trouble and feel battered by the winds of doubt, help us to know your presence with us now. And even though we be scattered and each in our own boat, may we know your welcome and your love as you enfold us in the ark of your embrace. Amen.
One day he got into a boat with his disciples, and he said to them, Let us go across to the other side of the lake. So they put out. And while they were sailing, he fell asleep. A gale swept down on the lake, and the boat was filling with water, and they were in danger. They went to him and woke him up, shouting, Master, Master, we are perishing. And he woke up and rebuked the wind and the raging waves. They ceased, and there was a calm. He said to them, Where is your faith? They were afraid and amazed, and said to one another, Who then is this, that he commands even the winds and the water? And they obey him. I will listen to what God the Lord says. He promises peace to his people, his faithful servants, but let them not turn to folly. Surely his salvation is near those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Love and faithfulness meet together. Righteousness and peace kiss each other. Faithfulness springs forth from the earth and righteousness looks down from heaven. will indeed give what is good and our land will yield its harvest. Righteousness goes before him and prepares the way for his steps. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable to you, O Lord, my Rock and my Redeemer. Amen. You've probably noticed that Jesus asked rather a lot of questions. Well, apparently he asked 339 questions across the Gospels. And in his latest book, 20 Questions Jesus Asked, Bishop John Pritchard says Jesus's questions continue to disturb, excite and scratch somewhere inside us today and open up a deep level of reflection on the way we live and try and follow Jesus. And I think he's right. The question Jesus asks in Luke's version of Jesus calming the storm is this. Where is your faith? And I wonder, is it meant to be a harsh rebuke? 
The disciples were caught up in a ferocious storm that threatened to overwhelm them as their boat started sinking. They were desperate and they were scared witless. And so they woke a seemingly oblivious Jesus for help. And he then immediately rebukes the wind and the waves. And all is calm. Then instead of asking, are you all right, lads? Jesus says, where is your faith? As unpredictable and sudden as a change in the weather can be, as we've just known these last few days, so the storms of life also hit us without warning and threaten to overwhelm us with uncertainty, worry, fear, pain and loss. The cross is a reality in every Christian's life. And as our boat sinks and drowning threatens, Jesus seems to be saying to us too, where is your faith? I don't think Jesus is harshly rebuking. I believe the question is profound and spiritual. Where is your faith? Is it to be found in trusting in your own strength to turn the tiller, to set the sails and bail out the boat? Or is your faith to be found in releasing the rudder and letting go into Christ? facing the fear in all its stark reality, looking at it, understanding it, then going through it to the other side, into the arms of Christ. Like passing through a waterfall and finding ourselves behind that curtain of water where all is calm and yet the ferocity of the water can't affect us. I believe that Jesus' question, where is your faith, is a gentle reminder to reset our compass and an invitation to let down our anchor in him. The voyage may be rough and our faces stung by the bitter saltiness of tears, but when the breakthrough is made, there is a sure and certain calm, a place where we discover the unwavering truth that nothing will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. A peace, a peace which surpasses all understanding. Where is your faith? In yourself or in your Saviour? Amen. As we share time together this morning, let us bring before God the needs of others. May we trust the Lord who calms the storms of life to bring peace and reassurance to each one at their point of need. Almighty God, King of Kings, Creator of all things and the source of all life, we humbly turn to ask you for your guidance, justice and compassion for all the world and all who are in authority, being faced with dealing with the troubles of the world, of which there are many. Visit those areas where hatred, retaliation and the need for power have dimmed their vision so much that it results in conflict, fear, anxiety and a sense of helplessness. 
We ask for your strength to equip all who are experiencing firsthand the reality of being in the midst of it. Bring the peace, comfort and reassurance of your presence. Creator God, make us more aware of our responsibility to love this world that you have created with all its beauty and continuity. Help us to be aware of the actions we can take to sustain it with effort and respect. Lord of love and peace, hear our prayer. Forgiving Lord, your church exists throughout the world, inviting all nations and cultures to respond to your gift of salvation and repentance. We pray for all leaders as the task of reaching people becomes more complex, with standards and boundaries becoming more blurred, resulting in confused messages and misunderstanding. Bless all who are involved in sharing the message of hope, including those in our own benefice and Methodist community. Nick, Mark, John, Judith. May we continue to uphold them in prayer, asking that they may receive your wisdom, guidance and strength as they preach the gospel of love. Lord of love and peace, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our community and give thanks for our family, friends and neighbours. Help us to value relationships and become more sensitive to need. May we be a blessing to them as we recognise your purposes that can enrich our lives and increase our love for you and for each other. Lord of love and peace, hear our prayer. Let us bring before God all those who are sick in body, mind or spirit, and for all who care for them. We pray especially for those suffering severe pain and illness, thinking too of all those awaiting hospital treatment or diagnosis and praying that they may be comforted in the knowledge that you are with them in the midst of their personal storms, longing to bring them peace and reassurance. We remember too those who mourn the loss of a loved one as they experience the pain of loss Draw near in love and mercy to comfort them and bring them peace. Lord of love and peace, hear our prayer. As we begin a new week, let us put our trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, who stilled and calmed the storm, who uplifts us and enfolds us in his love, now and always. Merciful Father, I accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Like God is mighty to 
We have come to the end of this online worship and we do thank you for sharing with us today. We give thanks also for all those who have gifted their time and talents in contributing to today's service and to the production team for putting it all together. So we end with a prayer and a blessing. Loving Father God, thank you for your word to us. May we absorb its truth and ponder its meaning. Help us all to face our fears and accept your invitation to let go into you in faith, into your love and your peace. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness and protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always and all those whom you love and pray for. Amen.